Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. Coming at you with a full case of 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball 8-box. Pick your team number 9 from Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action Thursday the 27th. 8-box, pick your team 9. There it is. There we go. Wait a second. Wait, who got last spot mojo again? I think it was Rick, right? Yeah, it was Rick with the Dodgers. Come on, Joe. Take some time off, and the next thing you know, for the holidays, the next thing you know, just sloppy in these breaks. There you go, Rick. There's your last spot mojo star. That's very, it's very important. All right, good luck, everybody. EA, breaking news, Eric. <laughs> uh, Alex Caruso on the bench tonight for the Lakers. Dust off your Alex Caruso rookie autos. Is he starting? No, he's not starting. Shaw is here. What up? He wants that end of the year football mixer. Yeah, that we got we got time for that too. We got time for almost everything on the site. One of everything that everyone's mentioned. We can do contenders too. We can do another optic football. We can do the end of year uh, mixer, football mixer. A lot to do. All right. This is great. We got four autographs per box in this one. Four autographs per box. Two per mini box. And obviously it's a Bowman product, so it's uh, prospects, mostly. Good luck, everybody. We got plenty of Bowman's Best Baseball, so if you missed out on this one, get into the next one, then the next one, then the next one. Bowman Draft fans, we are running out of that draft, though. Ladies and gents, let's do this. Let's do this. And Brady Singer autograph, right? Did everyone see the Brady Singer video? There's Ed Ram with the Royals. Ed, did you see the uh, Brady Singer video? I think he used like his signing bonus or whatever to like pay off all of his parents' debts for traveling him and his brother around for travel ball and all that sort of stuff. It's a great... Great Christmas video. Good, good guy, good guy, Brady. And there's Tristan Houses. Nice Tristan Houses going to Aaron Kreger and the Bow Sox. Nice, nice Tristan Casas. Not yet, but you heard about it. It's it's worth the watch. I thought it was going to be cheap. You know, I'm a, I'm kind of a, you guys know me. I'm kind of a sarcastic kind of dude. I thought it was going to be kind of cheesy, but no, it, I was kind of like, oh. <laughs> There's a uh, Roldis Chapman to 150. So these will will top load later on. Our shipping team will take care of that, and then they'll toblo and ship it out. There's Paven Smith. I think the first Paven Smith we've seen, Chris Garosi with the snakes. But it is a very heartwarming video because, like, you can tell that it, like, it wasn't, like, a rehearsed thing. It's just their parents at, like, their, they have, like, an island or something like that in the kitchen. And then, like, she's, she's reading this letter that he wrote them and everything. 
she's tearing up. It's a great video. And, nice. Ozzy Albius. That goes to Stacy and the Braves. Nice one, Stace. Bravo. For the Bravos. Nice. Gilo's like, I was all on to do that for my parents. Yeah, I would too. We'll save these Otanis as well for the Angels. That'll be for Aaron Kreger. Nice. Good start, boys and girls. Good start. Gilo saying Brady Brady Singer looks seems like the kind of guy that might that might do it in the show. Do it big in the show even. That'd be good. That'd be good for the hobby. That would make Ed Ramos very happy. Definitely seems like a guy you can root for. Who's his brother? Is this Kyle Singer or something like that? Wikipedia doesn't say. But yeah, he got a, according to Wikipedia, he got a $4.25 million signing bonus. He's a, he went to Florida He's a college kid, so you might see him in the majors sooner rather than later. Those college college players tend to tend to reach the majors a little more quickly. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. There's Trevor Stefan. 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 That'll be for Mark Matson and the Yankees. There you go, Mark. Mark actually got the Yankees and sort of kick-started a little more momentum on this break. Thanks for that. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Takes takes the entire group to get something going. There's Jacob deGrom. And another Royal, Daniel Lynch. Daniel Lynch for Ed Ram. There's Reese Hoskins to 150. And another two autos. Where does where does Machado end up? Boys and girls, any any thoughts on that? There's Cole Wynn for the Rangers. That's a good one for Ed Ram. Look at this. He's heating up. And there's Luis Escobar for the Buccos. Karen. Karen Steele with the Pirates. Nice one, Karen. We got an Atomic Jose Abreu and Noah Syndergaard. All right. Next one. Kay Hampson is back with the Dodgers. Then where, do, where does Corey Seager go? I thought about that. I thought maybe if, I don't know if Corey Seager can play second base, but Dodgers have kind of had a black hole at second base for a little bit. Um, I don't think David Freeze, who they re-signed, he's not going to be able to play every day. You know, maybe slide Corey Seager and his 
surgery elbow. You know, you got, I think he got Tommy John on his elbow. Maybe slide him over to second base. Keep Machado at shortstop. And the Dodgers rotate a lot of players anyway. Maybe that works. I don't know. I think I saw something on the on the interwebs. Must be true. If I see it on the internet, um, that both Bryce Harper and uh, both Bryce Harper and Manny Machado not super interested in Philadelphia. But I don't know. Phillies GM said in the off season, right, that they're that they're willing to spend stupid money in the off season. Let's see how stupid they get. Maybe they'll get both guys. Maybe they'll get both guys. Who knows? Yeah, I think, yeah, maybe Kham's reading the same, kind of the same things too. But money talks. All right, good luck, everybody. Speaking of the Phillies, Alec Baum, your uh, third overall pick, I believe. Mary, Mary Lou, nice, with the fighting Phils. And Evan White. That Evan White will be going to Chris Parent and the Mariners. There you go, Chris. <laughs> Kevin Hamilton's like, give man. If you want to pay me stupid money, I'll play in Alaska. For the uh, for the Anchorage anchors. There's Alec Thomas to fifty. Did they name that, speaking of, I don't know why this has gone into my head. I was thinking of uh, of uh, Fish. Did, did they name the Seattle hockey team yet? I think Steelhead was one of the names that they were thinking. I thought, I thought that should have been, that should be the name, I think. I like that. The Seattle Steelhead. Steelheads. 12 out of 99, Colton Welker. That'll be for the Rockies. James Simers with the Rocks. Ooh, and a redemption coming up. Any guesses on that redemption? Jacob deGrom reveals... Remember how he cut his hair? You were due to receive a best of 2018 autograph of... B, I don't remember a B, R, Bri oh, Bryce Turang for the Milwaukee Brewers, John Okra. Nice one, John. All right, next box. Okay, Ham saying, still wish uh, Wisconsin would have gotten a hockey team. Were they in the mix too? So Seattle will make it 30, 32 teams now, right? Vegas is 31, and then Seattle is 32. When are they starting? This next, like, 2019? I think baseball will expand. I 
think baseball is nice at 30. Let me move around a couple teams. We've got a Shohei Otani rookie card on top. And there's that guy and this guy. 28 out of 50. There you go. Carter Kaiboom for the Nationals. Josh Reich. Scott Kingery to two fifty. Nice. Your first overall pick, Casey Mize autograph and an Atomic Otani. Casey going to Paul Hutchins and the Tigers. There you go, Paul. The number one overall pick. Nice. Also supposed to be the real deal Holy Field. Okay, Cam saying that there was talks about Tampa Bay Lightning being sold a year ago, never came to be. I wonder if the baseball will expand. There's Nico Horner for the Cubs, Luke Smith. There you go, Luke. Giancarlo Stanton to 99. I think Bryce Harper wants to beat his salary, whether it's years or average annual value or total or whatever. And Josh Stowers for the M's. Who's got the Mariners in this one? That would be Chris Parent with the M's. Uh, no, not yet, Rick. I haven't. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of Dodgers in general out of this Bowman's best. I feel like there's been. Um, I mean, this is break nine, so we've done eight and a half up through eight, and then this half case. We're halfway through this one. Um, I feel like we've seen a few Jaron Kendalls. Maybe one Kybert Ruiz early on, but we haven't really not seen any other significant ones after after that. Yeah, where does Harper end up? Bryce Harper. I know that I feel like the Dodgers, after that trade with the Reds, were trying to open up a little bit of open up a little bit of uh, payroll flexibility space to maybe chase a big free agent, maybe someone like Bryce Harper, but I just hope that, I just hope that the, uh, everyone can, um, that there'll just be some more action over the next couple weeks or so. You know, I think last year, the, the free agent market was really a little, very quiet. I mean, J.D. Martinez didn't get signed until really late, if you guys remember that. He was the big free agent on the market. I can see Machado going to the Yankees. I feel like without Didi Gregorius, I feel like there's a natural sort of space there. A natural hole to, to fill in that infield. Harper? I have no idea. There's, there's talk about the White Sox, Dodgers, of course, Phillies, maybe even the Yankees. I think over the over the summer there were some Cubs fans who maybe even thought that Harper could end up there. There's Trevor Larnock. 
for the Twins. That'll be going out to Jerry Bennington. But I suppose it comes down to, I mean, how many teams... Now, the Dodgers aren't going to be the team that's going to give him a 10-year deal or anything like that, which I think maybe it's something that he wants. I didn't look. That redemption right there, I didn't look. So, I don't know. It depends. I think uh, what the Dodgers will probably do if they make an offer for him is probably like, I would think like five years maybe with opt-outs. And maybe they would want, they'll give him a higher average annual salary, right? So they're on the hook for a lot of money per year, but for a shorter length of time, I think is what they're trying to go for. So maybe they'll give him, there's the Padres, Luis Urias. Nice. That goes to the Friars, Josh Proust. I think they'll I think they'll be like, hey, you know, here's forty million dollars a year, for example, you know, or thirty eight million, whatever the case may be. Here here's a, a boatload of money for five years. You get opt outs as well, so you can get another bite of the apple, as they say. So maybe that'll be that would be something interesting to him. Or maybe he just goes, Hey, maybe I want he wants that. 10 year, 300 million dollar, whatever. 32 out of 50, Brendan McKay, early indications autograph. Nice, on card as well for the Rays. Eric Leal with the Rays, that's your future, future uh, two way player right there, first base and a pitcher. Nice. There's nice gold Alec Baum to 50. All right. Good luck. Refractor parallel, probably out of 499 of J E. Jaron Kendall Dodgers. There you go, Rick. We're just talking about how we didn't haven't seen this guy in a million years. Although somewhat ironically, I'm pretty good with prospects, but I actually don't know too much about this about this kid. But I know that he is he's pretty young. I think maybe maybe he's out of high school, still working his way up through the lower, lower levels. But well regarded in the system, I believe. All right, next one. Well, I like Alaska Wolverines as a new baseball team, Ed Ram. Kevin was saying earlier, I think the White Sox, he can be a could be a building block, and they do have the payroll. This is true. White Sox do have a good young team. The win loss column didn't show that, but if you watch, I watch a little White Sox baseball. If you watch the White Sox and you kind of look at their what they have in the pipeline, pretty good stuff. Jose Abreu is still a solid player too. Um, but you add, yeah, if you add Bryce Harper to that team, you're right. And then Bryce and KB, Chris Bryant can hang out more, the two Vegas kids. I don't think they were ever friends in Vegas, right? I think they said they may have run into each other, maybe played a little bit on a travel ball team or something like that. Or maybe faced each other. But I think there's, I'm blanking on the Rangers player. There's like a Rangers player, I think, who was actually closer with Bryce Harper, pretty sure.
All right, there's Noah Naylor, the tribe, Chris Garosi with the Indians. Kevin would like to see Lux from the Dodgers make it. Well, you know what? He, he, he's actually not struggling in the minors. He was struggling in the minors, but I think this season he had a really nice second half of the season. Um, I'm sure you you may you may know TJ in the chat, Kevin Hamilton. He's our he's our Tulsa Drillers insider. He works for the the Double A team, and he said that that Lux was promoted from from Single A to Double A, and w with like a a really hot average. So he's been hidden. And so that he's really made a lot of progress in that second half of, of, of this season. Now I think I think earlier, Kevin Hamilton, I think that I think that it was a Gallo, maybe it is Joey Gallo. I remember seeing on like Intentional Talk or something like that on MLB Network, where he has a story about about him and Bryce Harper about how like they were both on like some little league team and Bryce was a pitcher and was, you know, was just overthrowing it and like he had to be the catcher for him and blah, blah, blah. I think that story is out there somewhere. All right, Nick Schnell for the Rays. That'll go to Eric Leal. There's Dustin Fowler to 250. EA needs, needs some Nick Madrigal here. There's Matt Libertor. That's first round pick for the Rays. That's another Ray for Eric Leal. Eric Ange needs some White Sox. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is for for Gavin Lux. There's a bit of a bit of a middle infield kind of logjam, I think. You know, if they re-sign Machado, where does Lux play? Justin Turner's still around for a few more seasons. He's getting a little bit older, though. I don't know if Gavin Lux will get has the arm to move to third. Maybe he does. I don't know. Um, second base would be a, a nice natural position for him, I feel like. That would be nice. All right, eight more autographs to go. Four in this box, four in the next box. Good luck, ladies and gents. I see a few orders coming in. Oh, Bulldog fan with an order too. I will. There's Dalton Shaw, Adam Swift, and Will Comstock with orders. I don't know what they're for, but we'll we'll see in just a second. Scan the pager. Um, 1819 Contenders Basketball still at 10. Let's get that to single digits. We got a random team version of uh, Contenders Basketball as well. So you can chase like the big teams like the Dallas Mavericks for only $24.99 for a random team spot. Um, if you want to do more baseball, we got a Dynasty Random Player Break. And that is uh, also... You get triple entries in tonight's promo if you buy a spot there. And it's a St. Nick gift break. We only have two of those breaks left. All right. Carter Kaiboom for Josh Reich. Another one. There's Machado. Still wondering where he'll end up. He says he'll make a decision in the new year. Oh. Surprised me there. Best performers, Josh Groshans for the Blue Jays. Karen Steele with the Bluebirds. Nice. 
of these insert autos. We can do another Bowman's Best, ladies and gentlemen. Out of 150 on that one, Karen. We can do another Bowman's Best. Uh, Bowman's Best 10 is almost halfway there. 17 teams remaining. So chances are your team will be there. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Jared Kalanick to 150. And another Cub, that's Aramis Aidman. Luke Smith with the Cubbies. Ed Ram looking for Giants prospect Helio Ramos. Mark Matthews just won any any kind of Yankee. Should be one more auto out of here. It's going to be a snake. Alec Thomas, Chris Garosi with the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks definitely rebuilding this year. George Springer in the back there. All right. Four autos to go, ladies and gentlemen. Cross your fingers. Hopefully we'll find some hits for the hit list in this last box. Good luck. Love this Bowman's best, ladies and gentlemen. Would definitely not mind doing another one of these tonight. Love this stuff. We've got three more Pick Your Teams available on the site right now. And I think we have another case or two after that. We might be getting more, too. Lakers Kings on the TV here. I made a small financial investment in the Lakers tonight. All right, last box. There's Taylor Trammell to 250 and Bruce Star Greaterall for the Twins. Is your autograph, your first one of the box, first of four. Jerry Bennington with the Twinkies. Josh Proust with the red legs. There's Glaber Day, Glaber Torres to 99 for Mark and the Yankees. And nice Joe Adele for the Angels. Aaron Kreger. There you go. Angels on the board in the last box. Jeremy S., what's going on? All right, so that's two of four autographs. Two more autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Wow, nice atomic Brendan McKay. Two out of 25. He was a high first-round pick, too, when he was drafted a year or two ago. So that's another nice one for Eric Leal and the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. One more autograph to go, ladies and gentlemen. No promo or anything like that attached to this? No, it's just a straight up break. Nice. Nice break. And for the Padres, it's Christian Villanueva. Josh Pruce. 
with this Padres auto. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think Padres might be sneaky good in the next year or two. Keep an eye out for them. And there you have it, boys and girls. No other parallels there, but a solid break nonetheless. Thank you very much, everyone. That was Pick Your Team number nine of Bowman's Best Baseball. There's more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye.